Hello, Internet. It is I, Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to Box Office Predictions. Today, we're going to be talking about Voyagers. So, as usual, we're going to be going over the pros and cons. So, let's get to it. Pros. Mm. <laughs> Trying to think of some decent ones. Well, it's in theaters. Theaters have product. <laughs> they have content. Uh... Damn. <laughs> I I can't think of anything. At least nothing all that good. I give up. Cons. Cons. Uh, the simple fact is that no one really cares about this movie. <laughs> no one cares. All the attention has been centered around Godzilla vs. Kong for the past two weeks. Every other movie is pretty much irrelevant. Including this. It doesn't help that this movie has had a real lack of advertisements recently. I mean, it's, the trailer came out like less than two months ago for this movie, which is stupidly late <laughs> to start an advertising campaign. Granted, some movies recently have started their advertising campaign super late. Mortal Kombat, Wrath of Man, Spiral restarted its marketing campaign but the thing is, uh, those who wish me dead, that's a very recent one. But the thing is, all those movies are a lot more interesting than this. <laughs> that's just the fact. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a con. Lack of advertising, the lack of people actually, you know, caring about the movie. So that's an automatic con. Uh, con number two, lack of star power. Severe lack of star power. Now, I know the ma our main character, uh, Ty Sheridan. You probably recognize him. You can you recognize his face. But most people know him as the guy from Ready Player One and the new Cyclops in the recent X-Men movies. You know, the ones that nobody likes, <laughs> like X-Men Apocalypse and Dark Phoenix. Now, I'm not blaming him. Or how bad those movies were. It's just that it's unfortunate he was a part of said bad movies. So, yeah. Ugh. You know, Ready Player One, he obviously didn't sell that movie. You know who sold that movie? Sold that movie? Steven Spielberg's name. Not to mention all of the... Uh, all of the characters and properties that were in said movie were obviously a huge draw. And also, it was based off a very famous book. Yeah, so Ty Sheridan had pretty much nothing to do with that movie's success. I know that sounds mean, but that's the truth. And the only other actor to really note is Colin Farrell, who, although I like, he's never been a draw, ever. <laughs> he usually works best as a side character in a movie rather than a main character. I mean, I can just look at his track record. I picked the wrong person by, by accident. Uh, did I pick it right? There we go. There we go. Yeah. He's been in quite a lot of movies. There was Dumbo, which no one liked. <laughs> there was uh, Fantastic Beast. Ugh, that movie's not that great anyway. Yeah, Winter's Tale, Dead Men Down, Seven Psychopaths, Total Recall, Fright Night. Those are had him as the lead, and they all tanked. Oh, horrible Bosses, he was a side character. And then there was... When did this all start? There was Daredevil, where he was Bullseye. That's where it all started. It was that, it was Phone Booth, SWAT. It was going good, and then he just had to make Alexander. And then everything went downhill. So yeah, Colin Farrell, great actor, terrible track record when it comes to box office. So, yeah, that's automatic con, lack of star power. So that's con number two. Con number three, obviously, pandemic. It's still here. It's still here. It hasn't gone anywhere. Even with this vaccine's 
you know, out and about. It's still here. And it's only going to open in less than 2,000 theaters, which is really going to hurt it. I mean, it doesn't help. Godzilla vs. Kong is uh, kind of using up all those big screens because it has to, for obvious reasons. So, yeah, Voyagers is kind of screwed here. I really don't see it succeeding at all. So... Yeah, and th this just feels like one of those movies that a studio just looks at and they have zero faith in, so they just dump it out there, <laughs> just hoping, you know, just to get rid of it and never think about it ever again. Yeah, that's this movie. <laughs> so it's just like Chaos Walking. It's exactly like that, which is funny because both of these movies came from the same studio. So, yeah, that's something to note. All right. So opening weekend, uh, two million. I'm guessing two million for this movie. So two million, and then overall reach five or six, maybe seven if it's lucky, and that's it. <laughs> that's it for Voyagers, which, according to the director, is described as uh, "Lord of the Flies in space." His words, not mine. Which, I mean, sounds kind of cool, but judging by like the advertisements, it, it really doesn't seem cool. It doesn't look cool. It just looks kind of boring <laughs> and uninteresting. And I wonder how people are responding to this. I haven't heard anything when it comes to reviews. Are they good? Nope, they're trash. Okay, then. <laughs> I guess that's that. Uh, it's like a 25%. Yikes. <laughs> that's a, that's a big L right there. All right. So that's literally the only movie I'm talking about this weekend because next weekend there is nothing, absolutely nothing. So I get to take my first break in quite a while when it comes to predictions and I won't be back until the 23rd where we talk about not only the Demon Slayer movie, but yes, the movie I've been waiting for for quite a bit, Mortal Kombat. That is going to be a fun movie to talk about. And I will watch it on HBO Max when it comes out. Because I've been looking forward to this movie for quite a while, ever since I saw the first trailer. So I'm hoping for the best with Mortal Kombat. I'm hoping it it needs to at least be better than Annihilation. If it can't manage that, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah, that. So after that, there's Separation. There's Wrath of Man. There's Spiral. Those who wish me dead. Corella, Quiet Place Two, and then so on and so forth. So yeah, the sixteenth. At, at this point, the only weekends where I know for a fact I'm not going to talk about anything are the 16th of April and the 21st of May. Those two weekends, I'm not talking about nothing because there's nothing to talk about. So I'm just letting you know right now. So yeah, next prediction video won't be until the 23rd. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, that's it. That's all. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, turn on notifications, share the whole drill. Want to check, check out more videos like this? I got a playlist on the homepage with all of the 2021 movies that I've covered, you know, box office wise, you know, Tom and Jerry's, your Ray and the Last Dragons, your Godzilla vs. Kongs, all of them. So if you want to check out any of those, plus all the ones I've done past years, you know, 2019, 2020, go right ahead. Also got the Cancelled series, where I just go over all the movies that were supposed to come out but didn't. I literally did like three episodes in quite a short amount of time. Uh, part 55 was about Tomorrow War and the whole Netflix Sony thing. 56 was about Top Gun Maverick, Mission Possible 7-8. Uh, Snake Eyes movie and several other Paramount movies moving around. And then 57 was about Peter Rabbit 2, my nemesis. Uh, Hotel Transylvania 4 and Forever Purge moving too. So a lot happened in the span of like a day and a half. So 
If you want to check out any of those and all my past canceled episodes, go right ahead. And there's also and there's box office recaps where I go over the box office results for any particular month. That triple recap I've planned February, March, April is happening no matter what. That will come out early May. Now, since there is enough movies coming out in May, I will make May its own recap video. Same goes for June. June will be its own recap video, thanks to Peter Rabbit 2 moving to June at the last (laughs) minute. So there's more than enough content here to justify it uh its own its own recap video so yeah that's the plan now that's the plan now so but again i i can always change it can always go south but as of right now triple recap then may recap then june recap and then so on and so forth so yeah that's the plan but if you want to check out any of my past recaps go right ahead and yeah that's it that's all i am out goodbye